In their first conversation since the Hamas attack on Israel, Prime Minister Narendra Modi told Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that people of India stand in solidarity with Israel in this difficult hour. The friendship between Israel and India goes way back. This friendship is characterized by strong diplomatic ties, shared democratic values and cooperation in various fields including defense and technology. Both the nation have historically and contemporary commonalities fostering a robust partnership that benefits their economy and regular stability while promoting cultural exchanges and people to people connections. But there was a time when the love and friendship between these two nations got sore in order to remain in the good books of Arab state. In an atmosphere where Pakistan made every effort to paint India as anti-Muslim and tried to project the Kashmir issue as same as Palestine issue. India chose the side with Arabs and argued for the creation of the Palestinian state. During the Cold War period, India sided with USSR while Israel was too close to the USA which added fuel to the fire. But things took turn and after the end of Cold War, with the demise of USSR, India lost an ally global power as well as a major exporter supplier of weapons. Under the dynamic leadership of former Prime Minister P. V. Narasimha Rao, India was able to establish diplomatic relationship with Israel with setting up of Israeli embassy in New Delhi in 1992. Narasimha Rao dared to ignore the pressure from the strong anti-Israel lobby within the Congress party as well as from several left-leaning academicians, intellectuals and politicians. He stood that with the cheese scenario, geopolitical scenario, India would need all kinds of friends and therefore it cannot afford to ignore Israel anymore. The issue of Islamic terror, internal security threats and arms sales etc. were some of the agendas that brought them closer. India and Israel cannot be simply placed in the Eurocentric category of nations. Drawing analogy from noted Chinese scholar Zhang Wei works, the China Wei, rise of civilizational state. They can both be bracketed in the domain of civilizational states. Both have contributed to the world so much in terms of ideas, knowledge and perspectives that it is perhaps unparalleled. From Sigmund to Albert Einstein, Jews had been people with exceptional intellectual capital just like Indians who have given gems like Aryabhata, Bhagwan Buddha and Mahavi to the world. Not many people know that the term diaspora now a buzzword widely used in India to highlight the Indians settled abroad is actually forced dispersion of the Jews beyond Israel. India and Israel, both the civilization has been a victim of history and had to wait for centuries to become the masters of their own destiny. For the Jews, the destruction of the second temple on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem by the Romans in 70 AD marked the fall of Judaism. It had to wait for more than a thousand years to research in the former Jewish state of Israel in 1940. Similarly, the plunder, loot and destruction of Somna temple in Gujarat in 1024 AD by Mahmud of Ghazni marked the subversion of Indian civilization by the invaders, first the Afghans, Turks, Mughals and then by the Britishers. It was only in 1947 that India got to become the master of its own destiny by gaining independence from the British rule. However, culturally, it resurgence came in May 1951 when the Somna Temple was inaugurated by the first President of India, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, after its final reconstruction already been demolished six times. The relation between these two far neighbors, also the two best friends, are different from any other relation. Much before the formation of Israel, Jews had been visiting and staying in India for a very long period. How welcoming India had been for Jews can be understood by the speech of Swami Vivekananda at the Parliament of the World's Religions, Chicago in 1893, where he mentioned about how India accommodated the Israel people who had come to southern states of India after the Romans destroyed their holy temple. In fact, India is among the rare countries in the world where Jews never face any kind of discrimination or anti-Semitism unlike in the Christian Europe and later in the Arab world. Though majority of Jews have left India after the formation of Israel, many Jews still continue to live in India, especially in the southern cities of India and Kolkata. The enduring friendship between India and Israel, rooted in shared history and civilizational resilience, defies traditional geopolitical categorization. Despite initial challenges and the global pressure, the two nations have forged a deep bond that transcends political dynamics marked by intellectual contribution and mutual respect.